Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to safely uninstall Microsoft Entra Connect from your system. Microsoft Entra Connect Sync is an important tool for integrating your on-premises Active Directory objects with Microsoft Entra ID. However, if it is no longer required, it is crucial to uninstall it correctly to prevent potential issues. The organization will stop using Microsoft Entra Connect to synchronize AD objects between the on-premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID since the servers have been migrated to the cloud. This is the point at which we prefer to uninstall Microsoft Entra Connect. The first step is to disable directory synchronization both on the Microsoft Entra Connect server and within Microsoft Entra ID. In the previous video, we covered the steps to disable on-premises Active Directory synchronization with Microsoft Entra ID. You can find the link to the video in the description below. We are continuing from where we left off in the previous video. Let's go to our Microsoft Entra Connect server. On this server, we have installed and configured Microsoft Entra Connect Sync tool to synchronize on-premises AD objects with Microsoft Entra ID. Now, we are no longer using the on-premises Active Directory for identity and access management. Before uninstalling Microsoft Entra Connect, I want to ensure that Directory Sync is disabled both on the Microsoft Entra Connect server and in the Microsoft Entra ID. We are connected to our Microsoft Entra ID tenant using Microsoft Graph PowerShell with the correct permission. Run this command to get the on-premises synchronization status in Microsoft Entra tenant. The value will appear as null or empty indicating that on-premises directory synchronization is currently disabled. Right-click on the Start menu and select Terminal Admin. Now, let's check the current status of the on-premises directory synchronization. Tap this command and hit Enter key. If the value false appears, it indicates that on-premises directory synchronization is currently disabled. You can also check directory sync in Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. As you can see, Microsoft Entra Connect Sync is not enabled in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant and synchronization has never run. Let's go back to Microsoft Entra Connect Server. Let's run a Delta Sync to observe what happens if the sync attempts to run. Directory synchronization is currently disabled in both on premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID. Click on Start and open Synchronization Service Manager. For Delta Sync, type command start ad sync sync cycle hyphen policy type delta. Press Enter key to run the command. Command executed successfully. Let's wait for the Delta Sync to complete. As you can see, the Microsoft Entra ID connector MSFT webcast lab 24.onmicrosoft.com shows stopped server down in the status. This is because we have disabled directory synchronization in the Microsoft Entra ID. Close the synchronization service manager. Now we can safely uninstall Microsoft Entra Connect from our server. Open the run menu, type fwiz.cpl and press enter to open the control panel. Click on Microsoft Entra Connect Sync and then click on uninstall. The wizard will also uninstall the supporting components of Microsoft Entra Connect. The uninstalled Microsoft Entra Connect wizard appears. Open Run menu, type services.msc and press Enter key. Let me arrange this. Find the service with the name Microsoft Azure AD Sync. These two services are associated with Microsoft Entra Connect. Once we uninstall the Microsoft Entra Connect tool, these two services will also be removed. Go back to Uninstallation wizard. Make sure also uninstall supporting components checkbox is selected. Click on remove. The uninstallation process has now started. Give it a couple of minutes and you will see the green check marks indicating the process is complete. Microsoft Entra Connect has been successfully uninstalled. Click exit to finish. Click on the Microsoft Azure AD Connect Agent Updater and then click on uninstall. Click OK. Click on Refresh. Verify that Microsoft Entra Connect is removed from the Programs and Features list. In the Services console, click on Refresh and check if the Microsoft Azure AD Connect services have been removed. We can confirm that we no longer have those two services. Next step is File Explorer Cleanup. Open File Explorer. 
navigate to C drive and then open the program files directory. Delete the folders associated with Microsoft Entra Connect. Click on yes. Perfect. Microsoft Entra Connect has been successfully removed from our server. Log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center and remove the AD Sync service account from all users page. Let's go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Click on all users and select the on-premises director synchronization service account and then click delete. Click on OK. Perfect. The account has been successfully removed. First, disable director synchronization in both Active Directory, on-premises and Microsoft Entra ID. After that, proceed through the Microsoft Entra Connect uninstall wizard. And finally, delete the Microsoft Entra Connect folders in File Explorer. You can always reinstall Microsoft Entra Connect on the same server if needed. That's all for this video on how to safely uninstall Microsoft Entra Connect from your system. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.